Otto Mariam and beautiful hair model. So this is what we're working with and we're gonna get her hooked up so she can look cute for school and not have to comb her hair every day. So this hairstyle is perfect for type four hair and type three hair or any hair that you can braid as long as you use some holding gel or some kind of holding cream. So let's get started. So I'm going to section off an oval part of her hair in this towards the center or side depending on what direction you want your um, big ponytail to so now we're going to work with this oval section of hair that I've parted out and this whole section again is going to be made into two strand twists. So a lovely two strand twists and you're going to make sure that you use some kind of holding pudding and I have this olive oil ORS pudding which I'm going to use and this helps to keep the hair um, not only moisturized and shiny but it's going to give it a lot of hold. So I'm going to, and it's, it's nice and thick. I'm going to use this as I two strand each twist. I like to start from the bottom. You know, I'm just going to take an oval amount of hair. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat. Just section out a medium amount of hair that you're going to two strand twist. That looks like a good amount and then section off the rest of the hair out of the way. So of course the hair is properly combed out and I've applied some of the pudding to it, a liberal amount of the pudding, and then I'm just gonna start two strand twisting it. And you start uh, as firm or as tight as possible at the base and you just two strand twist all the way to the bottom. And again it helps to add the pudding liberally. Um, if you had shea moisture butter you could use that too because that works really well on type 4 hair. But her hair is a little bit te uh, looser texture so this uh, firmer pudding works well. So I'm just going to part out another section and I try to avoid uh, sharp corners. I prefer to section out oval sections. So a medium amount like that and again section off the hair or pull it out of the way and then you have your area that you want to work on and we're going to put a liberal amount of pudding make sure it's combed out and then add your gel or your pudding to make sure the twist stay in place and then you just start twisting separate each portion in two and then hold it and just start twisting so it's really easy. You just hold the hair as firmly as possible and twist all the way to the end. And the more practice you have, the faster you can do this. And any white residue you see is the uh, pudding or gel and that will dry clear. And the great thing too about, all right, so now I'm gonna section off this part of her hair because we're not gonna use this for now. I'm just gonna twist it and put it out of the way. Just, you know, you can do that. So it's out of the way and we're gonna start braiding this that's going to go towards the center of her head And these are going to be small to medium sized. In the back, I'm gonna keep the braid simple, just straight towards the center. But as I get to the front, we'll try to put some sort of design 
or interest. So hair's detangled, I'm adding product to it and then I'm just going to start braiding her hair towards the center. And remember the back is usually one of the most sensitive areas so you want to avoid doing it too tight. Then when you get to the end of the braid, you start twisting. And you might have to redistribute the hair into two equal portions before you start twisting it. Okay. So as you can see, I've completed the back or a small portion of the back is completed and it's very cute so kept it simple and there's the ends into even sections even big chunks and then you can come back and um, separate it into the cornrows that you want but initially just go ahead and separate it in the direction of the center. That way you make sure you have an even amount of hair going in the direction that you want. Okay. going to be a skinnier braid, skinnier shorter braid. It's just going to go straight back at the point where the last curved braid started. Okay. So for the next braid, I'm just going to curve it out. Parting it in a curve. first one. 